and welcome to another video Bible study by Jesus Christ Prison Ministry. Our topic, Psalm 74. Why have you rejected us forever, O God? Why does your anger smolder against the sheep of your pasture? Remember the people you purchased of old, the tribe of your inheritance, whom you redeemed? Mount Zion, where you dwelt. Turn your steps toward those everlasting ruins, all this destruction the enemy has brought on the sanctuary. This is a psalm by Asaph. He is relating the destruction of Jerusalem by the Babylonians, but it can also be used for us because we also are the temple of the Lord. We also are where God wants to dwell in our hearts. And sometimes the enemy ravishes against us and we wonder where God is and has he rejected us forever. Your foes roared in the place where you met with us. They set up their standards as signs. They behaved like men welding axes to cut through a thicket of trees. They smashed all the carved paneling with their axes and hatchets. They burned your sanctuary to the ground. They defiled the dwelling place of your name. They said in their hearts, we will crush them completely. They burned every place where God was worshiped in the land. We are given no miraculous signs. No prophets are left. And none of us knows how long this will be. In our lives, we may feel abandoned. We may feel that there's no God. For most of the time, it's because of our own actions. We have allowed the enemy in who is ravishing us by placing ourselves in the way of temptation and falling into it, giving into it. We need to clear out this body temple from the things of the world we need to give it back to Jesus. We need to give it back to him. How long will the enemy mock you, O God? Will the foe revile your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand, your right hand? Take it from the folds of your garment and destroy them. How often we think of this, huh? Lord, please go get the enemy. He will, in his own time and way. Remember, he loves them too. He wants them to change and repent and turn from their sins and to live the perfect, sinless, commandment-keeping life, just as he wants you to do that. He is testing your character. He disciplines us and allows these things to happen to prepare us for heaven. We must learn perseverance self-control, discipline, duty, responsibility, and wait on the Lord. He'll come to our rescue. But you, O God, are my king from of old. You bring salvation upon the earth. It was you who split open the sea by your power. You broke the heads of the monster in the waters. It was you who crushed the heads of Leviathan and gave him as food to the creatures of the desert. It was you who opened up springs and streams. You dried up the ever-flowing rivers. The day is yours and yours also the night. You established the sun and the moon. It was you who set all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. When things get tough in our lives, we want to recount the blessings of the Lord in our past to revive us and to Give us patience for the future. Look to the past. Recount the blessings. Always keep in your mind the, the good the Lord has done. And wait patiently. Remember how the enemy has mocked you, O Lord. How foolish people have reviled your name. It is the foolish that revile his name. They have no idea what they're doing. The power and the majesty of God could in a blink wipe them out. They're so prideful and arrogant. 
Let us never be like the foolish. Do not hand over the life of your dove to a wild beast. Do not forget the lives of your afflicted people forever. That's right. God still loves us. Have regard for your covenant, because haunts of violence fill the dark places of the land. Do not let the oppressed retreat in disgrace. May the poor and needy praise your name. God has promised to come to the rescue of the poor and needy, the distressed. Rise up, O God, and defend your cause. Remember how fools mock you all day long? Do not ignore the clamor of your adversaries, the uproar of your enemies, which rises continually. God will not forget. You are not abandoned. Many times I thought I was. I used to go out on the back part of our property. I would weep, wonder why, God. One night I looked up, and there I saw a night rainbow over me, and I knew that God was listening. On another night, at a moonlit night, there was a cloud, and I was in tears asking, Lord, have you abandoned me? And the cloud, it opened up and became a breast with arms. I knew he was hugging me. Just wait patiently. All turned out fine. It'll always turn out fine if you are obedient to Jesus. Be obedient, trust, and obey. God will be there for you. Thank you for being with me and Jesus Christ Prison Ministry for another video Bible study.